good morning today let us study about effect of impurities on critical solution temperature how the traces of impurities present in water for example traces of other impurities will affect the critical solution temperature that is called as prismer test and we will describe the critical solution temperature curve and further we will also see what are the different types of partially miscible liquid liquid system there are four types we will first see uh, we will first describe the critical solution temperature curve we have seen yesterday for this is the critical solution temperature curve for phenol water partially miscible liquid liquid system okay so we have seen a b line is called the tie line and uh, the, the temperature c is called critical temperature that is 68.1 degree celsius and the temperature at the, the at critical cst the composition is 36.1 percentage of phenol okay. now let us describe the curve uh, at any point or region inside the curve see for example if you take o at any point or any region inside the curve two layers will be present remember at any point or any region within the acb curve acb curve there are two layers there are two saturated solutions there are two layers in saturated solution are present okay and at any point for example you take point uh, x point z point y any point or any region away from the outside the acp cup outside the acp acp cup there is only one homogeneous layer present because um, above critical the, uh, the temperature above the critical uh, uh, critical solution temperature the two liquids the two liquid pairs uh, are completely visible in all proportions all proportions okay so at any point any region above the curve only one homogeneous layer exists or present okay now let us uh, see how the traces of impurity how the presence of impurity affect the critical solution temperature let us see for example phenol water system the impurity present in water is uh, for example salt water sodium chloride okay sodium chloride the increases the presence of impurity increases the critical solution temperature for example 1% sodium chloride solution increases the critical solution temperature by 12 degrees celsius okay so how do you describe in general any impurity any solute or any impurity or any substance for example sodium chloride is soluble only in water okay any substance or any solute which is soluble in only one layer not in two layer then it will increase the critical solution temperature remember any sub any solute or substance or impurity which is soluble in only one of the layer sodium chloride is not soluble sodium chloride is highly ionic compound this is hydrophobic this is non polar phenol is uh, more non polar okay water is polar therefore sodium chloride is soluble in water it is insoluble in phenol therefore it is only soluble in one of the layer the solute therefore it increases the cst now let us see sodium oleate oleate or the sodium stearate or you can take sodium formate or any soap nothing but the sodium oleate is a soap this solute is soluble in both the layers see this solute is soluble in both the layer phenol and water then it decreases the critical solution temperature this is commonly asked in entrance uh, several examination okay so the any substance which is soluble in both the layer it de decreases the critical solution temperature for example if you add more then the two layer will become completely visible it will become completely visible similarly okay, cyclohexane methanol cyclohexane methanol system it is a two component system and the methanol water is present water is present as impurity in methanol 
it increases the critical solution temperature. Therefore, by measuring the critical solution temperature, the traces of salt present in water, traces of water present in methanol can be determined and be detected. Okay, that is the important thing of this. Okay, next we will see what is a prisma test. What is, uh, for example, you have phenol water system. You you prepare uh, zero uh, zero point one percent, zero point two percent, zero point three percent water, and you measure the critical solution temperature. The critical solution temperature varies or increases with increase in the concentration of sodium chloride. Remember, the critical solution temperature C, it is a linear curve with the positive slope. The critical solution temperature increases with the increase in the concentration of sodium chloride solution. There is a linear variation between critical solution temperature and the concentration of sodium chloride aqueous solution. Therefore, PSD varies linearly with the increase in the concentration of sodium chloride. From that plot, so this is called a calibration plot. You, in, in, you will be doing practical on critical solution temperature, determination of concentration of uh, impurity present in, uh, in a given solution. For unknown solution, you prepare known solution, you measure the critical solution temperature. Okay? Your teacher will give you the unknown solution. For unknown solution, similarly, you determine the critical solution temperature at which the temperature at which the two layers becomes one layer homogeneous you find out critical solution temperature for unknown concentration unknown concentration is known from this plot from this calibration plot the percentage that is the concentration of sodium chloride present in water can be determined can be determined and reported okay now we will see what are the Different types of liquid liquid system. There are three, three types of liquid liquid system. Remember, one is a completely miscible, another is partially miscible liquid liquid system, another is completely immiscible liquid liquid system. What are co completely miscible liquid liquid system? For example, ethanol water. If you mix ethanol and water, it will become one layer. Both are miscible. Both are miscible in all proportions. Okay. So it will form. Now phenol water. Unlimited water, in our water, unlimited water, they form partially miscible liquid liquid system. Okay, now there are four types of partially miscible liquid liquid system. Okay, what are the four types? We will see now. Partial miscibility of the two liquids increases with the increase in temperature. For example, in our water, with the increase in temperature, the miscibility, the partial miscibility. Solubility in one, one in another is increasing. Okay. Partial visibility increases with the increase in temperature, it will become one layer. Okay, in our water. Okay. That is one type. Another type is partial visibility increases with the decreasing temperature. Opposite, just opposite. Here, partial visibility increases with the increase in temperature. In this case, partial visibility increases with the decreasing temperature. Not with the increase in temperature. By increasing temperature, it will be two layer only. By, but if you decrease the temperature on cooling, so you, you need to have ice bath, the temperature will be lower and will, at particular temperature, it will become, at particular low temperature, it will have lower CST. It will have upper CST, it will have lower CST. For example, amine water. Um, I mean, diethylamine, 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 triethylamine water system. The reason is that when you, when you increase the temperature, it will become two layer. Because when you increase the temperature, the hydrogen bond between uh, amine and water, there will be hydrogen bonding, strong hydrogen bonding that makes it miscible. So if you if you in, increase the temperature, the hydrogen bonds are broken, they are not very strong bond uh, like uh, covalent bond. Therefore, they will break and they will form separate layer, they will form separate layer. Okay? But if you lower the temperature, there will be more and more hydrogen bonding and it will become one layer. Okay? So, it miscibility increases, the solubility increases. Next, uh, next one is 
partial visibility increases two cases combined the partial visibility increases with the increasing temperature and also decreasing temperature so if you have upper csd and lower csd the partial visibility increases the partial visibility of the two liquid pairs the two liquids increases with the rising temperature as well as also lowering temperature nicotine nicotine is present in cigarette uh, smoke nicotine and water system equaling ether equaling water system there is another type opposite of this sir this is one is opposite of two and three is opposite the partial the partial visibility the partial visibility of liquids does not increase with the either increasing temperature or lowering temperature for example ether water ether 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 and water you increase the temperature nothing will happen there will be no it is ether is not soluble in water water is not soluble in ether so there is no partial visibility there is uh, does not increase the partial visibility does not increase by either increasing temperature or lowering the temperature so there are several um, questions may be asked in your semester examinations and uh, in bio course and also in competitive examinations thank you for watching